Uh, I got a 22 Magnum 22 WMR pistol test here for you today. Ballistic gel test, 10% Nox ballistics gelatin. I got two blocks. I'll have another one set up behind it. Uh, so we're going to test these TNT bullets today. I have a video previously shooting these ones specifically. We'll go over all these in a second. Out of a rifle, close range, and they fragment like crazy. Penetration is ridiculous ridiculously shallow. I'm going to be testing these longer range with the rifle too to see how they do out further. Uh, 50 and 100 yards at first, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to do the same with these other two offerings here. Um, but with how rapidly they expand and fragment through a rifle close range, I figure it'd probably make for a pretty good pistol round. Um, you know, a lot of times some of the rounds don't expand very well or at all close range out of a pistol. So I'm thinking these still will I'm hoping they'll like mushroom nicely, but they might still fragment, but that's what I aim to find out. So all three of these are TNT. Um, like I said, this is the one I tested previously in the rifle. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go check out that video if you missed it. Otherwise, just check out the 22 slash rimfire playlist on the channel for everything rimfire. But uh, I figured these would be the same bullets... Uh, just one says CCI and the other says Federal. They're both 30 grain TNT bullets. They got the big honking hollow points on them. They're both advertised 2200 feet per second. However, they do look slightly different. So, it might be hard to tell on camera. I'll do my best to show you the overall, like, trunicated, the overall trunicated shape of the bullet is the same. Uh, but I noticed the lead comes a little further down on the federal, down the slits on the side, than it does with the CCI variant. But the biggest difference is in the tips here. You can see, I'm trying to get a focus for you guys, um, they're shaped different. So the federal has more of a star pattern, whereas the CCI is a more rounded pattern. So they are in fact different surprisingly because a lot of times manufacturers will chamber the same bullets a prime example of that is the hornady v max so hornady makes their own 22 magnum 30 grain ballistic tip v max and so does but they chamber the exact same bullet 30 grain ballistic tip v max it just has a different color tip if i recall correctly uh, but these are both saying tnt but you can see the clear difference there and this is the tnt green so this is the lead free these have lead in the center. This is lead free. And it's still a 30 grain. But interestingly, they advertise it at a lower velocity. And also, the bullet is drastically different. Not only does it have a much smaller hollow point. I'll show you the other CCI next to it. But it's got more of a rounded bullet shape to it. Compared to that trunicated cone type shape. So we're going to try out all three here today, see how they do out of my 942 Ultralight there to 3 inch barrel. Um, as I said, I tested these out of rifle close range if you want to see that, linked in the description. And then I'll also have um, longer range rifle tests on all three of these at 50 and 100 yards coming up as well. So I'm using Knox 10% Ballistics Gelatin. BB calibration today is coming in at pretty much a perfect 3.25 inches. And we're temperature controlled as always. Alright, so get started here. Start out uh, shooting distance about 5 yards and we'll do bare block first and then we'll try some clothing barriers. So I'll start out with the Federal Spear TNT first, then I'll try the Maxi Mag TNT. And then third and final will be the TNT, uh, excuse me, the TNT green. I don't know if you heard me laughing, but that uh, last one there, the, the TNT green. For some reason, even though it's advertised a lower velocity, much bigger, louder muzzle blast from that one. And you can see 
all this unburnt, pow unburnt powder, which I'm guessing was from that one. I mean, they might have all thrown a little bit of powder on the block, but you know, I did some other tests that you should see before this one, and I don't recall it throwing powder all over the block like that with any of those rounds, so I'm gonna say that was probably that green. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. So this has a massive wound cavity, yet the bullet did not expand, so it must have immediately tumbled. I'm just trying to see if there was any shards in there, but it doesn't really look like it. So whenever you get a, a big wound cavity like that, even though your bullet didn't expand, it's because it tumbled. So that thing must have tumbled as soon as it hit and then rewrited itself, did a complete 360, and there it is. So both these regular TNTs, this one's the Federal and this one's the CCI, you can see they're smashed up pretty good. So they do indeed expand very well from a pistol. Um, <laughs> you can see by comparison though, the, the wound cavities are much smaller. I mean, that's typical. That's what you should get with something like that. Um, again, it's just because that one tumbled. So I'm going to take, it's going to be a dicey shot, but I'm going to take one more of that TNT green right next to it to see if it uh, replicates that result or if we get a different result. So let me try one more of those in the bare block because clearly this one did not expand. So again, you're getting all that from, and it has had to have tumbled. I didn't think they were gonna expand either because that hollow point was so much smaller. So I don't know why they still advertise those as <clears throat> TNT. It'd be real interesting to see the comparison out of the rifle in the block because uh, that one is vastly different than these other two. All right, so here we go. One more of the TNT green through the bare block. I was a little farther left than I intended, but let's see what happened. Okay, so we still captured it. And that one broke up. It's interesting. It looks like there's some copper powder that must be like... I don't know, some sort of pressed particles in there because it's leaving like this rust collar through these uh, wound channels here. Yeah, you can see it real good there. So, uh, especially here, see all that brown? So that's interesting. It's like a pressed copper particle bullet, apparently. So it did all of that. And I gotta say, if you were hunting game, I would not want to use that because look at all that nasty particulates. It's going to drag through your game and well typically this green stuff is you know used for like say california where they don't want you using uh lead bullets for hunting but that is just some nasty stuff it's going to put in your your game if you're actually hunting to eat so i would not use those for that but you can see this one definitely did break up compared to that one which did not and then also the wound cavity is pretty different because of that so Again, you get massive uh, damage from a tumble there <laughs> compared to expansion. So that first one just did a complete 360 tumble. And this one actually opened up as designed. As for our penetration depths, it might look a little funny to you guys depending on how I hold the camera. So our first shot with the Federal TNT sitting a hair over 9 inches there. And then the CCI Maxi Mag TNT got about 7 and a quarter. And then the first TNT green, due to non-expansion, went just shy of 10 and a quarter. And then this last one here we just took where it did break up a hair over seven and a half. All right, I flipped the block over and love it or hate it, I'm gonna go ahead and try the four layers of denim test. Okay, I got a little too close with the first two, closer than I intended, but, oh, and too low on that one. But we're mostly just seeing if they expanded still through the denim. Gotta say, it looks like these two did, yep. So, nice decent wound channel there, nice decent wound channel there, and then right there and right there, so, there's the Federal, there's the CCI, 
and I came too freaking low. <laughs> Let's see where we're at here. I believe this one. And where's that guy? I see a fragment following that. Yep. Right there is that one. So. Excuse me, I was pointing at one of the previous bullets. You can clearly see it right here. So again, it broke up and left all that nasty copper stuff in there. And six inches for the TNT green. Seven three quarters federal, seven CCI maxi. -mate. All right, we'll take them up to the table, get a retained weight, expanded diameter and all that here in a second. So this back row here is all of them through the bare gel. So here's the Federal TNT. Here's the CCI Maxi Mag TNT. And then there's that green, the TNT green. And you can see that little copper powdered crap down in there, even though that one didn't expand. And then here's through the denim. So that is your Federal. That's your CCI Maxi Mag uh, TNT. And then I pulled out a little piece there through the one through the dome that it obviously expanded. So, yeah, as you can see there, that's just absolute copper powder inside of a copper jacket. I don't particularly care for that. Like I said, especially since there's a lot of people out there using those for game and that's what it's spreading through your meat there. And on another note, I would say that these would work in an even shorter barrel because they're getting just massive expansion. They're almost being mangled. They're expanding so well um, through the bare block. And then the denim controls it a little bit to keep them more solid there instead of shredding them apart. And that's with a three inch barrel. So I would say that the, the regular TNTs, be it Federal or the CCI Maxi Mag TNT version, that's what I'm getting out of a 3-inch barrel. They're still going to expand well out of a 2-inch barrel and possibly shorter. So that should also bode very well for the rifle test I'm going to have coming up. They're still going to fragment like crazy at 50 yards, I think, and at 100, they're probably going to do about this at 100 yards, which means... These may ring king for a long range 22 Magnum round as far as still getting expansion at like 150, 200 yards. So I will have to eventually test that, but I'll do 50 and 100 yards first out of the rifle and see what happens. Getting these back on ice for the next video, um, but worth noting, out of the three of those TNT green, only that one tumbled and made that nice, awesome, massive wound cavity. So apparently uh, tumbling with that round is not something we can count on. Plus, it's not designed to do that anyways. It's supposed to break up. Okay, the Federal TNT through the bare block. 27.5 grains left of a 30 grain bullet. Your expanded diameter that way is still going to be about 22 caliber. Oh, 31, I guess I was wrong there. And if we turn it sideways with all this mangled stuff hanging off there, if I can hold it still. It keeps turning on me as soon as I try to clamp it down, but about 40 cal there, 0.401. And then the... Twenty point eight for the Maxi Mag TNT. Twenty point eight grains. I don't know. Hard to get a measurement. About twenty eight that way. And I can't even talk today. TNT green through the bare block. Twenty eight point nine, and there's no point measuring that. Federal TNT through the denim, 30 grains on the dot, 100% weight retention. About 37 cal expansion there. CCI Maxi Mag TNT through the denim, 30 grains on the dot, 100% weight retention. 
405 about 40 cal on that one and then obviously through the denim again uh, the the green just turned in the powder so there's nothing to weigh or measure through that one you guys want to get yourself one of these little scales uh, caliper micrometer there link in the description for that also link in the description for the Nox gel I use safety glasses earmuffs and way more all linked in the description what do you guys think these two at least pretty awesome through the pistol these didn't fare too well. I mean, we had that one failure, but I think it actually failed because it tumbled. But I'll tell you what, if that's what it's going to give us from tumbling, I'll take that every day over the uh, powdering up like that. We also got more penetration that way. So I think that makes that a pretty good round for this too. I was saying, I think that makes this pretty good round for uh, out of a pistol too, as far as like self-defense or something like that goes, because it seems like it always expands unless it tumbles for some reason, and then you get even better performance, so can't lose with that. So, I mean, none of these really penetrated super far, except for the one of these that tumbled. Uh, so there is that. You got shallow penetration with these, so that might not be ideal for self-defense, but you are at least going to get expansion with every one, including this one, unless it tumbles. Then, as I said, that really made me second guess. I've never used these before. I just bought them for this test, but I would definitely be second guessing using these on a game animal that you in intend to harvest to consume because it's just going to leave that powder crap all through it, and you definitely don't want to be eating that. But as I said, if you want to see up close rifle tests of this, I'll link it in the description, or you can just go check out the 22 slash Rimfire playlist on the channel. Again, I'll have all three of these coming up in a 50 and 100 yard uh, rifle gel test. And then if these are still expanding nicely at 100 or any of them, I guess, I'll be testing them further eventually. Man, I just could not get a break today. YouTubers that have their own backyard to shoot in are really freaking blessed. I would keep talking, but with the gunshots, my mic always goes out and then you guys can't hear me. So I have no choice but to stop every time, especially when they're right beside me. Anyways, rifle tests coming up on these guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Also, guys, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the review video on that pistol. And don't forget, check out the 22 slash Rimfire playlist for everything Rimfire. Uh, plenty of gel tests in there, obviously. Um, gun reviews, even some long range shooting. Check it out.